Widely considered to be one of the safest and most reliable forms of transport, railways have the ability to travel over multiple, often challenging types of terrain from Mexico to India. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous railway tracks in the world, though. Stay tuned for number one, though. The dangers that this one faces is actually kind of surprising. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. White Pass and Yukon Route for decades prior to the Great Gold Rush of the late 1800s, both Europeans and the natives were aware of the presence of gold around the Yukon River and several other areas. However, the fact of the matter was that gold was not a highly valued mineral. Instead, traders had been more focused on fur trading. As attitudes toward precious metals started to change, the 1880s brought with it the Great Gold Rush that we know of today. And as an estimated 100,000 people flooded into the Klondike goldfields, it became necessary to transport the money-hungry miners to increasingly dangerous and unforgiving areas. To accomplish this, railroad lines were created, most notably the White Pass and Yukon Route. The route still stands today as something of a historical site, but when it was built over 120 years ago, it was nothing short of an engineering marvel. One look at the geography that it covers and you will understand why this incredible journey is an absolutely hair-raising experience. Number 9. Asomanami Route, Japan As one of the most dangerous rail routes in Japan, the Asomanami Route has earned itself quite a reputation. With numerous jaw-dropping bridges that suspend locomotives hundreds of feet off the ground on precariously narrow rails on the line, this links Tatano Station in Minimiyaso and Takamori Station in Takamori. However, if the fear of derailment on a narrow bridge doesn't scare you off, this might. Also, Manami is widely considered one of Japan's most dangerous railroads due to its close proximity to Mount Aso, one of the world's largest active volcanoes. Mount Aso is located in Asokuju National Park. And if it erupts again, it will spell surefire disaster for the railway, as well as anybody on it. Number 8. Train to the Clouds, Argentina In 1889, people in the Salta province of Argentina needed a way to get around and to move goods over long distances. The answer in many other parts of the world at the time had been rails, but the Salta province had some unique challenges. The route that the railway would take covered the space between Argentina and Chile. Unfortunately though, this space happens to also be the Andes mountain range, the second tallest on Earth. This meant that building a railway would be a significant undertaking, but in 1916, after almost 28 years spent analyzing the feasibility of building a railroad through the region, work began on what would one day be called the Train to the Clouds. The route was designed by American engineer Richard Maury and was officially opened in 1948. The route covered 217 kilometers and included 20 stops, but what is most astounding is that the route climbs nearly 14,000 feet or 4,220 meters. It also features 29 bridges, 21 tunnels, 13 viaducts, 2 spirals, and 2 zigzags. Despite its phenomenal construction, the so-called Train to the Clouds has had a history of troubles. Some notable incidents include a 2014 derailment that occurred at a height of 4,000 meters and required 4,000 passengers to be evacuated. Another incident took place in 2005 when a train stalled at a height of 3,500 meters, and because of where this incident occurred, passengers had to be rescued via helicopter. Things have gotten so bad that rather than funding improvements, the government has begun providing buses to cover portions of the route. Number 7. Death Railway Thailand Originally called the Burma Railway, many people call it the Death Railway. This 415-kilometer railway connects Ban Pong, Thailand to Than Biu Zayat, Burma. The railway was originally constructed out of necessity during World War II when Japanese forces in Burma needed a supply link to Thailand. Construction, however, was a brutal affair. Upwards of 250,000 Southeast Asian slaves and 61,000 Allied POWs were forced to build it, working long hours with little in the way of basic necessities, and the cost of human life was immense with an estimated 102,000 laborers perishing. Treatment of the workers was so horrendous that following the war, 111 Japanese military officials were tried for war crimes and 32 were sentenced to death. Of all the sections of railway, maybe none is more famous than the legendary bridge on the River Kwai. But possibly the most challenging stretch is the one known as Hellfire Pass and the Tenasarim Hills. For 12 weeks, laborers struggled in the region, lacking proper tools and being badly abused meant that they would perish in the process. In total, 69 men were beaten to death by Japanese guards and countless more died from cholera. Many others also perished due to dysentery, starvation, and exhaustion. In more recent times, large portions of the railway have become submerged in the Vajira Longkorn Dam. While there are consistently talks of reopening sections of the line, these plans have yet to come to fruition, and today, Death Railway is simply a ghost with a very dark past. Number 6. Kurando Scenic Railway, Australia 
The Corondo Scenic Railway connects to the Australian coastal city of Cairns to the town of Corondo. The distance between the two is about three hours. During the journey, passengers are treated to breathtaking views as they travel at spine-tingling heights up to 1,077 feet or 328 meters. But the ride is more than just a high-flying rail adventure. The peak of the ride, which occurs at the summit of Myola, also features 15 tunnels, 93 curves, and numerous difficult bridges, many of which are suspended above rock, water, or directly beside waterfalls. The good news here is that if you don't like spending three hours fearing for your life, the same journey can actually be made in about 30 minutes by car. And then again, what fun is that? Number 5. Mexico's Crime-Ridden Rails Train robbery is something that might make many of us think about the Old West, but in fact, every day in Mexico, approximately four to five organized large-scale train robberies take place, and even more 18-wheelers are also hijacked. Robbing a modern train is no small task, and doing so often involves a team of 10 to 15 heavily armed gunmen, and injuries and even fatalities are very common. Mexico is a major exporter of consumer goods, and the targets for these robberies are incredibly diverse, including electric appliances, food, clothing, shoes, car parts, medicines, and even cars. Unfortunately, once products are stolen, they disappear quickly into a vast network of underground markets, meaning that once they've been stolen, the goods are nearly impossible to track, and the groups responsible operate with very few repercussions. Number 4. Georgetown Loop Railroad, Colorado Specifically designed as part of a tourist attraction, the Georgetown Loop serves to transport visitors to a lookout on Mount McLellan. For several decades, the Georgetown Loop operated without major incident until in 2004, it was then that contract negotiations between the Colorado Historical Society and the Georgetown Loop Railway, Inc., or GLR, began to break down and the result was a new partnership between the Historical Society and Railstar, Inc. Unfortunately, when operations changed hands, GLR took most of the original equipment with them because they were, in fact, the rightful owners. This meant that Railstar was responsible for buying all new equipment and trying to recreate what GLR had done successfully for over 30 years. After this point, the Georgetown Loop was plagued with issues, mostly relating to the safety of their operations. Problems range from inconveniences, such as a lack of locomotives and frequent breakdowns, to major safety problems like derailments. Safety was such a concern that a 2006 incident triggered an investigation by the Federal Railway Administration. The Georgetown Loop earned such a reputation for danger that the annual number of riders dropped by nearly 80,000 people. This is before the Historic Society eventually terminated them and awarded the contract to a company called Historic Rail Adventures, who have so far proven to be a better fit. But it will likely take a little while for the Georgetown Loop to shed its dark past with Railstar. Number 3. India's Deadly Railway With our number 3 entry, we will begin to look at railways that are still costing lives to this very day. India's Deadly Railway system isn't just a transportation option, it's often referred to as the lifeline of a nation. The baffling network runs over 12,000 trains a day that transport more than 23 million passengers daily. With 8,000 different stations and 63,000 kilometers of rail, it is also one of the world's oldest train networks. In fact, it was mostly constructed between 1949 and 1950 by the colonial British government. Sadly, since its construction, the country has seen decades of financial challenges, meaning that despite being the lifeline of a nation, India's railway system is perilously underfunded. This means that repairs and maintenance are rare occurrences and are usually completed when the route simply becomes impassable. This lack of upkeep means that rail disasters are frequent with as many as 530 a year. Additionally, the large number of people living near a railway is so numerous that nearly 28,000 people die every year. This is due to the incidents involving trains, but nearly 18,000 of them, however, perish not in derailments, but rather from getting struck by trains, either at crossings or by walking along the tracks. Another danger presented by the railroad is that oftentimes people desperate to reach another part of the country frequently stow away on roofs and amongst cargo, and many fall or become trapped or crushed. With annual fatalities that are equivalent to a small city, India's railway system comes in at number three. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My pick for today may be one of the most terrifying railways we've actually seen. Number 2. Chennai Ramasawaram Route, India The Chennai Ramasawaram Route is located in the state of Tamil Nadu in India, and while the route has a number of obstacles, by far the most awe-striking portion of it is the Pamban Bridge. This stunning single-rail bridge is nearly 7,000 feet long, and for nearly the entire expanse, passengers are suspended over the Lakadive Sea. The legacy of this phenomenal bridge hasn't been without its blemishes. Being a sea bridge means that it is subject to a uniquely challenging set of circumstances. In fact, it is said to be the second most corrosive environment on Earth. 
However, there are also more immediate and fast-moving threats that the bridge faces. On December 23, 1964, just two days before Christmas, a 25-foot storm surge struck overturning the Pomben Danuskoti passenger train and killed all 150 passengers aboard. Since the catastrophe, there have been few comparable incidents, but the unique location of the Pamban Bridge means that it will be forever more at the mercy of Mother Nature. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Devil's Nose Ecuador the Devil's Nose is a segment of the Transandian Railway, and it gets its name because it may be, well, one of the most treacherous stretches a railway ever built. Over the course of just 12 kilometers, the elevation drops over 100 meters. In order to make the descent safely, the train follows a zigzag pattern carved into the side of the rock face. This allows for a safer descent, but it also requires a very skilled engineer to navigate. What was your favorite entry on today's list? Which ones would you never want to ride on? Let us know in the comments down below. Alright everybody, that's our video for today, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Later everybody!